بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمد ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد باب فضل الحب في الله والحث عليه وإعلام الرجل من يحبه أنه يحبه وماذا يقول له إذا أعلمه قال الله تعالى أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم محمد رسول الله والذين معه أشداء على الكفار رحماء بينهم تراهم ركعا سجدا يبتغون فضلا من الله ورضوانا سيماهم في وجوههم من أثر السجود ذلك مثلهم في التوراة ومثلهم في الإنجيل كزرع أخرج كزرع أخرج شطأه فآزره فاستغلظ فاستوى على سوقه يعجب الزراع ليغيظ بهم الكفار وعد الله الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات منهم مغفرة وأجرا عظيما. This is a new chapter. Imam Nawawi رحمه الله has brought. He's given it the title, the virtue of loving for the sake of Allah سبحانه وتعالى, and the encouragement to do so, and informing a person that you love for the sake of Allah سبحانه وتعالى. informing him of your love for him and what it is that you should say to him when you inform him. Allah's Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned that la yu'minu ahadukum hatta yakuna hawahu taba'an lima ji'tu bihi. He said you do not have iman. Normally the more cautious translation of expressions like this la yu'minu ahadukum which the ulama ikram give is that your iman is not complete. La yu'minu ahadukum, your iman is not complete. But literally, the translation is you don't have iman. Hatta yakuna hawahu taba'an lima jittu bihi. Until your desires do not come in conformance with that deen and that shariat which I have brought. So matloob and desire in shariat is that we have to have such iman on Allah and His Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that we come onto this level that where we hand ourselves over to Allah and His Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Love whom Allah wants you to love and hate whom Allah wants you to hate. In other words, your inner jazba, your inner zeal also should be handed over to Allah and His Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And we find this very, very clearly in the lives, particularly of the companions of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. If you look in Badr, when the battle of Badr took place, on the one side is a father, on the other side is a son. On the one side is one brother, the other side is the other brother. One side is the uncle, the other side is the nephew. And then we find that after that battle, such conversations take place. That where the son of Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala who says to his father that in the battle, there was a time when you came within the purview of my sword. If I wanted, I could have taken your head off. But because you were my father, I preserved your life. What answer does he receive? Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala who says to him, that if the converse had happened, if you had come within the sights of my sword, I would not have hesitated. I would have taken your head off. In other words, the fact that you are my son is in its place. But my right to Allah and His Rasul is greater. My allegiance to Allah and His Rasul is greater. You did not have Iman at that time, you were a kafir. So on the battlefield, you were my opposition. And for the sake of Allah and His Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, I would have carried out their command rather than what maternal or paternal instinct there was in me. So this is the, what we call the pinnacle and the height of Iman. Where Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Man ahabba lillah, wa abghada lillah, wa a'da wa a'ta lillah, wa mana'a lillah, faqad istakmal al-Iman. He who loves for Allah's sake, if he loves someone, it is because shariat requires him to love that person, not because his own feelings are going in that direction. Hates for Allah's sake, gives for Allah's sake, withholds for Allah's sake. فَقَدْ اسْتَكْمَلَ الْإِيمَانِ He has perfected his iman. This is kamali iman. 
This is the perfection of Iman. Your own jazbah and zeal is telling you to cut off ties with that person. Cut off ties with that relative. Don't talk to him. Why? He did you down. He showed you a sour, sour face. He usurped your rights. But, on the other hand, Shariat is telling you that earn your akhirat. Make Allah happy. Let go of that anger. Let go of that zeal to, 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 to acquire revenge. So the person with a higher level of iman, he will let go of his jazba and zeal for what Allah and his Rasul wanted. And this is what a daily challenge that we face all the time. One is on the one side, the dictate of our nafs, or sometimes the dictate of society, or the dictate of people's expectations from us on one side. And the other side is what Allah and his Rasul want. And for us to bring our jazbat and bring our zeal in conformance to what Allah and His Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam want is the daily challenge that is facing us. And the higher the level of Iman, the more we will come onto that. So coming back to this chapter, this is the, 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 this title that Imam Nawi Rahimullah has given is a very simple title. But let us not be deceived by this. This is an extremely, extremely, extremely important aspect of Shariat and Deen. The importance of loving for the sake of Allah. Love for Allah's sake. Let your relationships be determined by the Shariat rather than by other aspects. And we see this, like I said, the most glaring and most beautiful and most sublime example of this is the companions of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa That is why we see both the verses which Imam Nawi rahimullah has mentioned. Obviously we are only going to translate the one now because of time limitations. But... Both the verses pertain to the Sahaba of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The first verse, which Imam Nawawi rahimahullah has brought, that Muhammadur Rasulullah, Allah Taala says Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the messenger of Allah. Muhammadur Rasulullah. And immediately after that, what does Allah say? Walladina ma'ahu, those that are with him. One ajib point which. Ulama Kiram bring under the tafsir and commentary of this verse. Allah Ta'ala says, Muhammadur Rasulullah, that is a dawah, that is a claim. That is a claim. Muhammad is my messenger. And Muhammad is the final messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And then immediately the companions are mentioned. Sifat and attributes of Sahaba are mentioned. Ulama say, what is the underlying meaning? That such a jamaat, such a jamaat like the Sahaba of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, for them to have come into existence is a proof of the nubuwat of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Because only a nabi could have brought, made such an effort. Only a nabi could have produced results like this. Such a band and such a jamaat of followers, like the Sahaba of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And Allah goes on to describe them: Ashidda wa ala al kuffar, rohama ubeinahum. They are stern against the disbelievers and are compassionate and loving. Amongst themselves. This is the reason why Imam Nawawi particularly has brought this verse. Rohama ubeinahum. The quality of a mu'min is that they have mercy for one another. Love for one another. Compassion for one another. Rohama ubeinahum. Tarahum rukkaan sujjade yabdaguna fadlam min Allahi wa ridwana. Allah Ta'ala says that you will see the companions of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They are in ruku. They are in sajda. They are in salah, they are in the worship of Allah, they are in dua. And, يَبْتَغُونَ فَضْلًا مِّنَ اللَّهِ وَرِضْوَانًا What is their motivation? They, they want the pleasure of Allah. They want the virtue from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In other words, they have no worldly motivation. They are motivated primarily by the, by, by the motivation to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. سِمَاهُمْ فِي وُجُوهِهِمْ مِّنْ أَثَرِ السُّجُودِ Allah Ta'ala says that the hallmark on their faces is of the sign of sajda. Now what does this mean? Athar sujood the sign of sajda. Sometimes we see a mark forming on the forehead of some people which we refer to as namaz mark. This obviously may be the literal meaning. But the actual meaning of this which Mufassirin have given is that because of excessive sajda and excessive ibadat we find there is a certain special nur that forms on the face of the pious. 
which we will actually be able to ascertain. Sometimes you see the nuraniyat on the face of a person who has made a lot of ibadat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So they say, they say it refers to this, that the hallmark on their faces, min athar is sujood, is of the sign of their sajda. ذَلِكَ مَثَلُهُمْ فِي Torah. Allah says, this is the example in the Torah. And وَمَثَلُهُمْ فِي الْإِنْجِيلِ كَزَرْعٍ أَخْرَجَ شَطَأَهُ فَآزَرَهُ فَاسْتَغْلَضَ فَاسْتَوَى عَلَى سُوقِهِ يُعْجِبُ الزُّرَّاعَ لِيَغِيظَ بِهِمُ الْكُفَّارِ The example in the Injil is like that of a plant that sprouts its shoots and strengthens it and after which it becomes thick and stands firm on its own, on its own stem, delighting the farmer so that the unbelievers so that the disbelievers may be enraged by them. This is an analogy given to the companions of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. In the manner once they were weak, then they became strong. Eventually, even their sight drew fear in the hearts of the disbelievers and made the believers happy. One important point we, we, we find from this verse is that Allah Ta'ala described the Sahaba of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the books of the past also. In the Torah and in the Injil. That is why elsewhere in the Quran we find Alladina Yajidunahu Maktuban Indahum fit Torati wal Injil, Yakmuruhum Bil Ma'aruf, wa Yanahum Anil Munkar, Wa Yuhilu Lahumut Tayyibad, Wa Yuharibu Alehimul Khabaif, Wa Yadaw Anhum Yisrahum wal Aglal Latikanat Alehim. Allah Dara says you will find the companions of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned in the Torah and the Injil, the books that were revealed in the past. And what was their quality? They used to enjoy good and forbid evil, etc. The sifat of the companions of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam are mentioned. وَعَدَ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا مِنْهُمْ وَعَدَ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ مِنْهُمْ مَغْفِرَةً وَأَجْرًا عَظِيمًا Allah Ta'ala has promised, has made wada, has taken an oath, a covenant upon himself. Those who bring iman upon the companions of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Allah Ta'ala will give them maghfirat and Allah Ta'ala will give them a great reward. Allah give us tawfiq.